Playdate! This is a nice, charming little episode where Ice King is still around the place and they kind of want him to finally get the idea to move away, so they invite over Abraka Daniel and they start hanging out having all sorts of fun together and then they look at Finn's sword, read this magic writing on there that brings back the demon that you know, did all these terrible things, and he threatens to kill them, and then he says he'll kill them if they don't break the sword. They broke the sword, he becomes powerful, he takes Jake, disappears, and that's the end. Short uh, vlog. Yeah, um, definitely start out very playful, very friendly, and then just, like, went in, you know, like, really intense dark at the end, which, which I like. I, I like it, again, when you can't predict where it's gonna go. Um, because I was sort of watching this episode, like, I'm liking it, I'm enjoying it, but I'm like, I, I kind of wish maybe we could get back to one of the ones that had a little bit more of a story or, you know, uh, something connecting to sort of, like, you know, the drama that they were doing before, and then just, like, boom, out of nowhere, it happens. You get what you want. Yeah, um, so, d very well placed, um, you know, just in the scheme of things. Uh, and, and it, it's funny, I like the, um, I, I love seeing the Ice King and Abracadabra, Abraka Daniel, excuse me, uh, hang out, and I love seeing Finn and Jake serve as the parents, like, reading their books and yeah. drinking the coffee and stuff, like, this is nice, mm. this is nice, <laughs> you know, while they're going around acting like kids, pretty much, and, and trying, and putting on little shows, and, um, uh, and, and pretty much getting into trouble and making up little lies and stuff. I, I did call one thing, though, at the very beginning, I said, hey, wait a minute, the Ice King has his crown bag, that's, Gunter had the crown, so... Yeah, I, I did kind of figure out something was up there, because it turns out it's been fixed for weeks yeah. in the Ice Kingdom. Uh, he just wanted to hang out with Finn and Jake. Um, Hello, who wouldn't, though? Yes. Um, well, what I like is that they invite him to hang out there, and the past couple of times I saw him in the house, I kind of forgot, oh yeah, he was living there, because I was always there like, what's he just doing there? And then it's like, they've done that joke a couple of times. I'm like, oh wait, yeah, he's living there. <laughs> and even Jake at the very beginning just sort of turns, he's like, you know, God, I keep forgetting he lives here. Yeah. Um, and I think the audience kind of does too, because they don't address it that much. Um, especially because you'd think that'd be a bigger thing, you know, kind of like what they did in this episode where he would get annoying and grading and stuff. Kind of um, like friends who come over and do damn vlogs. I know, don't you hate those people? God. I had this one guy who would, you know, come over and do vlogs of Adventure Time. <sighs> How'd you put up with them? Uh, I didn't because it was me. And putting up with me is incredibly easy because I'm awesome. But yeah, uh, I liked it. I like the, um... I like how it suddenly at the end got, like, you know, it returned to sort of the, the bigger story that's probably going on at hand and, uh, and it leads on nice to be continued. Mm -hmm. Um... And the one thing this did that, I don't know, like, you get older, you kind of forget about this stuff, but I kind of forgot when you're a kid kind of how fun sleepovers are, actually, like, when you're spending the night with somebody, because it's like, you know, when you're a kid, it's like, just things are cool, you're a kid, you're playing video games, you're eating yeah. junk food, it's, it's awesome, but then there's, and you're trying to get away with whatever you can around your parents, but then there's something cool about going to, like, another kid's house, and it's like seeing all the toys and shit he has, and then sharing, and where it's like, what do your parents let you get away with? Maybe I can get away with it here. And so it's like, I sort of forgot the fun of that. And I, watching this again, I was sort of like, oh yeah, there was something really cool about that. That is something I think Adventure Time does very well. It sort of brings you back to, you know, even though there's a lot of adult stuff in it, there's a lot of remembering those really fun little moments of being a kid. Yeah. You know, even if it's done with adults. I mean, both those people were adults, <laughs> which made it a little even funnier. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, I, I like you know, dressing up in costume and doing funny voices and... Yeah, or getting that, people together and, that, you that's know... That's totally child... No adults ever do yeah, that. Yeah, no adults ever do that. Or get paid for it. That'd be yeah. silly. Yeah, that'd be nice! <laughs> nice shirt, by the way. Not dressing up like any characters or anything like that. No. I don't like you. You just go to a convention, just be like, yo, this is my cosplay. I'm, <laughs> I'm Jake. I'm Jake, damn it. I, I'm Jake very slowly squeezing a man to death. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the Jake suit. Yes. It's a Jake shirt. Yes, indeed. Apparently my laundry is done. Yes. <laughs>
Your thoughts? Oh, I didn't know. I didn't know where you're going with this or anything. I'm so out of it right now. Okay, I've, I, I had to sleep over with my friends. I'm tired now. I think that's a lie. You're right. Um... I liked it. It was a lot of fun. Um, Ice King, if he was living in my house... Honestly, at this point in the game of my life, I think if anyone lived in this house, besides my wife, my daughter, my son, or my cat, I think I'd be annoyed after like a day and a half. <laughs> I don't care who it would be. It would just be so... It would throw me off so much. We've been a family unit for so long, we have routines, we have the way we do things. Tossing anyone into it, even a great friend or someone you've known forever, they have their own quirks and they have their own way of doing things. And it's like, I'm just imagining Finn and Jake putting up with Ice King for that long, and that would drive me bonkers. <laughs> There is, yeah, there is something, it's like, we, we both had, I mean, if people are, you've had parties, and, you oh. know, we, we've had people over, it's like, you know, yeah, spend the night, you know, please, no problem, but yeah, the idea of somebody, like, living with you for a long time, it's like, I can't remember the last time, like, I've done that with someone, like, you know, having someone over for, like, a week or so, it's like, the most I think I've had somebody over for, like, two, three days or something, yeah. but yeah, I mean, it's... And that's for an out-of-town friend, and that's about it. Yeah, and there, there is something about, like, you do sort of get, I'm sure this is probably getting older, too, you just, like you say, you get in this, you know, this formula going, this pattern going, they become really comfortable with, and then it's like, when somebody else comes in, it's like, okay, no, this is fine for, like, I'm an adult, come on, I'm adaptable, I'm flexible, you know, just, just for... Just for a little bit, though, you know, <laughs> just for a short amount of time, uh, where, like, the idea of doing that, like, when you're a kid, like, going on a week trip or spending, like, a week at somebody's house or something like that was just, like, the coolest thing ever. It's oh, like, yeah. you know, are you insane? Yes, that'd be awesome. <laughs> so, um, that's probably the other way around, too. It's like, if, if you're going to somebody else's house, then it's like, you know, oh, no, that's, not even then. I don't know if I could do, like, a whole week at, like, somebody else's I'd be sleeping place. in someone else's bed. I, yeah, I, I'd start to probably get, like, a little, like, a little homesick. So um, I'd be a little paranoid, too, in a sense of I'd hate going into their fridge and just grabbing their food. I'd hate, like, it would make me feel uncomfortable. Yeah, just, like, am I overstepping any bodies? Yeah, like, like that, yeah. it's one of those where I'd have to show respect, but let's say I wake up at, like, 3 in the morning... Do I wake them up and say, hey, can I get a snack? Or do I not? Or, like, what do I do? And, and at the same time, we know there's people that's like, as soon as they move into somebody's place or something, it's just like, they just make themselves at home, even if, like, nobody told them to. <laughs> oh, no, I've been down that road way too many times. Yeah, like, there's definitely people that do that, too. So it's just going to be like, and I think that's one of the reasons, like, the Ice King in this. It's like, yeah, you can just get it very quickly. Can you make me a sandwich? Don't forget the bread. <laughs> Don't forget the bread. <laughs> no, um, I liked it. It was, it was, it was interesting. Once the demon showed up, I really liked that. It's, a, <laughs> I like how the demon's holding both Eric Daniel and the Ice King. He's like, if you say the words, try to send me back. I'll, you know, disintegrate them. And Jake just starts saying it. It's like Vince, like, no. <laughs> I thought he was bluffing. <laughs> Well, and uh, I agree. how long are the words? I mean, is it something where you could say it really fast and you wouldn't have a chance to kill him, or is it like a really, really long? No, it's just pretty short. Remember, it's a uh, God. What was it? Oh, see, I want to. Oh, I don't remember, but it's like. Da -da -da -da. That's it. <laughs> yeah, it's like they, they could have done it, you know. <laughs> but this is one thing I'll say definitely for Finn and Finn's character, Ice King, who was his enemy. Abrak Daniel, who's kind of a waste of space. Ice King, who's kind of a waste of space. He's willing to give up one of his... Finn's willing to give up, like, a prized possession. It wasn't just something he got in some dungeon. I mean, yes, it is something he got in some dungeon. But <laughs> but it, it means a lot more. Like, it's, it's his from his father. To it. Yeah. You know, and all of that stuff. He's willing to break it with... You know, he's like, I can't. And he's like... The guy's like, oh, and he's like, oh, you're fine. And he does it. Like... It would take a lot more for me to, you know, break <laughs> something that important, I think, uh, than two people that I'm not incredibly fond of. Yeah, that is true. It wasn't like, you know, d d d Peebles or something like that, you know. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, you know, or anything like that. Yeah, it was just these two 
pretty annoying people, one that has been an enemy on several occasions. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, no, that's actually a good point. I think you're right, it is kind of a testament uh, uh, to his character and what a good kid he is. I mean, he's been through a lot of hardships, but even when it comes down to it, he's willing to sacrifice for people he's not even incredibly fond of. Mm -hmm. So, I liked it, it was okay. Yeah, no, I, I thought it was good, and I like it. the ending did really make me say, you know, oh, what's going to happen to the next one? I, I, you know, I got I got into it again, because I, I, I have liked these past episodes, but at the same time, I'm like, yeah, I'm kind of missing the what's going to happen next <laughs> aspect, and it's like, it came in just at the right time, so, yeah, uh, yeah no, I think that's really good pacing of the, uh, of the episode. Th this show's good at that, it's good at... You know, knowing when to give you sort of the, yeah, this is just kind of a waste of time or silliness, whatever. And now we're going to get to, like, the really gritty, you know, story again. Yeah. You know, and the heavy drama and stuff. So I, I, they balance it out really good, and it's it's not quite predictable. You don't quite know, oh, this episode's going to be serious, this one's going to be funny. You know, it can start off totally goofy and then slowly work its way into, you know, something really serious. Yeah. Uh, or in this one where it's just like, you know... It's mostly goofy. Then at the end, suddenly you have this big cliffhanger. Yeah, you know, or again, the Holly Jolly Secrets, where it's just like, what is this building up to? And then just like, you know, boom, something so dramatic. You know, yeah. it's just like this big, you know, huge puzzle piece that just puts so much together. Uh, so they're really good at that. They're still really good at just throwing in these little surprises and, and spacing them out. Oh, well, I agree. That's it. <laughs>